Festival Director Fiona Stewart talks about her plans for the main stage at the Green Man Festival. It's a 22 foot orbit stage. The reason it's there is you've got the backdrop onto the Sugarloaf Mountains behind it. But also it's there because I can direct the uh, speakers into the hill here, which absorbs the sound. It creates a natural auditoria for people wishing to see the stage. They can see it at a lot of levels. And it also means there's a good standing room space. You could get probably two, three thousand in front of that stage area at the moment. But um, we'll see, you could probably move that up a little bit actually. A 22 foot stage is more than enough for people to have a good viewing area and a good sight line of the stage. Looking down on that space, that is spectacular. That's just like, you know, nature's back, backdrop for me. From the artist's point of view, I try and bring that into their act, as it were. If I put an enormous stage there, a big black domed thing, which I'm sure some of my technical crew would love me to do, I think it takes away from the experience. I mean, it's beautiful. If you see, you know, an artist performing there and the lights on the artist, it has a tremendous theatrical impact. If I had an act which had a lot of AV involved in it, and you know, if you had the Scissor Sisters play here, enormous stage set up, then possibly I'd move the stage to another area. I took Robert Plant out last year, and he was saying, well, it's, you know, it's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit small, I can't do his accent. His, uh, I wouldn't dare to do his accent. And um, then I showed him the back of it, and just said, look, this is what you're going to look like. And he was like, oh, yeah, well, that'll do then. How long does Fiona allow for the stage to be completed? The construction process would be, depending on the weather, something in the region of four to five days to build a stage. From a schedule point of view, then the sound and lighting teams goes in Tuesday, Wednesday, and it takes about two days. For other people who were starting out, it might take a bit longer. It certainly did when I started, I'd be honest with you. It's taken many years to get that kind of, to get, to get it that slick. What problems will she face? The major thing I've got to think about and the team's got to think about is how we bring in tons and tons and tons of infrastructure onto land that's very soft <laughs> without uh, making too much of, of a dent in it. Machinery dealing with land, it's, it's very much the basic bit of, of working open air events. And that's where the science of everything becomes interesting because like in any, there's, you know, architecture, engineering, electrical engineering, the whole area of new forms of energy is, is going to be very much part of what we, we're doing now. How did Fiona choose her stage? You make that decision based on the kind of technical equipment and, and cost. You know, we're, we're not loaded, so we, we get the best stage for that function. Personally, I like white stages. I like stages which are white or silver because I like to use light as a theatre function in what I, I do. I don't necessarily like to have big screens because this is an indie festival really and I like all the, the artists to be the centre of attention. So I use lighting. I, I, I have a technical lighter who, who works in, in you know, the National Theatre and who light the artist and light the stage. And if you have a, a lighter reflected um, skin on the, on the stage, you get a better effect. You'll see when you see it, it's like a green glow on the stage. And it's lovely at night, it makes it much more attractive, much more of a... Because stages in themselves can be quite ugly. So, maybe being a bit of a girly, I quite like, <laughs> I quite like to make it pretty. I mean, I think the integration of attractive production into somewhere like this... You know, I don't want something that looks like a big Dalek in the middle of this beautiful field. How did Fiona go about getting permission to run this festival? I've been running festivals for a very long time. So I was able to get references from a number of other councils that I'd worked with, which is a big thing for, for running a music festival like this. You do something like this because you love it. I adore my job. It's just delicious to me. And the people who work with me love it as well. And I'm really lucky because I work with some brilliant people.